What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you a breakdown of the latest Destiny 2 Forsaken trailer and damn it is pretty damn cool But before we check it out guys and break it down if you guys do enjoy the video remember leaving a like it really does help out and I do appreciate that support So here is the trailer if you haven't seen it if you have click the time shown on screen now for the breakdown video We should have been there. Well, this, this is awkward. I, you, you got a gun I can borrow. <coughs> this is not your fault. Any last words? <coughs> How's your sister? For our fire team. For Cade. This is on the head of Aldrin Sov. My friends, my barons, go unleash chaos. The three of us want the same thing, Spider. Aldrin and his barons. Dead. I cannot wait to see how this ends. We are not an army. We are not conquerors. We need to keep our eyes on our home, our people. This is Cade we're talking about. For us to do nothing is... See it. Cowardice. I refuse to bury any more friends. You won't have to. Aldrin Sov is mine. So, this is to be a reckoning. I know where Aldrin is. Baron scheme. You have no idea what he's done! The line between light and dark is so very thin. Do you know which side you're on? We will take the reef by storm. All of us, every titan, every warlock, every hunter. If he thinks what he's done is the end, it's not. It's the beginning. You gotta promise me, put Aldrin in the ground. Do we have a deal? Destiny 2 Forsaken, available September 4th. Play the all-new hybrid game mode Gambit. Free 24-hour trial begins Okay, Saturday. so the trailer starts with the Vanguard standing over Cade and mourning him, and also cuts to Cade's last words. Cade gaining one last burn. Any last words? <coughs> How's your sister? We then see Aldrin addressing his barons, telling them to unleash some chaos. Dress up. My friends, my barons, go unleash chaos. It then cuts to Pet's Revenge and a guardian who is portraying us speaking to Spider, one of the game's new vendors for the Forsaken. Petra says we all want the same thing, and that is Aldrin and his barons dead. Which is true, obviously. Spider replies with he cannot wait for this to end. Also notice Spider is playing with a ghost. If we look on the Destinypedia, it states Spider is a fan of collecting dead ghosts. Well, ain't we all? Now we do know dead ghosts are returning. Whether this is tied in with them somehow, we don't know yet. It then skips back to us mourning Cade. With, in my opinion, Savala being a pussy. We are not conquerors. What game have you been playing, Savala? Letting my fellow Titans down here? We are not conquerors. We need to keep our eyes on our home, our people. This is Cade we're talking about. For us to do nothing is 
see it. Cowardice. What we then see is pretty epic, and that is the voice of our guardian. We see the guardian who's portraying us in these cinematics, uh, actually speaking. You won't have to. Aldrin Sarf is mine. I wonder what this would sound like, I'm not my female warlock. Obviously that's a joke people, it's going to be portrayed by a woman, no doubt. Our guardian representative then jumps on his spell, which looks epic by the way, seen by the screenshot on screen now. And then we get a little bit of gameplay, seeing a new exotic hand cannon, the Malfeasance, I believe it's pronounced, which looks pretty cool. We then see the new striker Superman Dolphin Dive Super, looking ridiculous. It then cuts to the new Arc Strider, deflecting those projectiles like a boss onto Master Race. And then we see the Warlock's new filthy beam of arc energy, this I cannot wait to use. The trailer then skips back to his spider, telling us he knows where Aldrin is. I know where Aldrin is, Darren Ski. The next scene is really interesting. It shows Aldrin sitting on a queen's throne, I believe this is. And we then see an arm basically stroke his. Now this indeed looks like the queen's arm, obviously that's not being confirmed, but to me it looks like that. But in my opinion, this is all in Aldrin's head. We know he's trying to save his sister, we know he's trying to find his sister. Now the queen is in the game, but I won't spoil that for you if you want answers. I posted a video covering a leak the other day, which you can find on my channel if you are interested in knowing more about the queen. But yeah, for sure, in my opinion, this is definitely all in Aldrin's head. Aldrin then burns down the throne, no doubt in his chase to find his sister. We then see Aldrin and his barons in what seems to be the dark forest, walking up to a portal. Is that a Taken portal? I think so, as these were in the dark forest. We then see Aldrin holding what looks to be a shard of a light. We see this after his eyes go black, like he's been overcome by the darkness. Now this might not be in order by the way, so these cinematics could happen in a different order. We don't know, but really interesting. The trailer then skips to us guardians on the reef laying down some work, seeing a new exotic, the 1000 voices, with the same titan then activating his new hammer of soul super. Along with fellow warlocks and hunters getting to work, all of this happening with Ikora laying down the truth, basically stating, we will take back the reef by storm, all of us, every titan warlock and hunter, with a glimpse also at the new exotic two-tailed fox rocket launcher. The trailer ends with us making a deal with Spider. This no doubt is in us taking out Aldrin for good. Put Aldrin in the ground. We have a deal. And that's basically it guys. What did you think of the trailer? Let me know down below in that comment section. If you spotted something I missed, let me know what that is down below. Now while the trailer is pretty decent, I mean, we haven't really learned much from it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was really hoping before they actually dropped this trailer that we wouldn't see any raid gameplay, any new exotics uh, that we haven't seen before or anything like that. I'm actually happy Bungie have kept them spoilers on a real lowdown. But yeah, the update will land soon, people, in game, so stay tuned for more videos on that. But guys, on that note, I am out. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. Again, thanks for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.